Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akedu and welcome back to this let's play of Long Relic the Queen. With me as always I have... Strawberry Poyan. And again we will try to see if we can survive five more weeks. Yes. So last time was uh, kind of um, eventful. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was kind of a, a lame episode because we failed all our checks. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. Yep. So our moods are uh, we're going down in willful and all the things, so We're aiming for pressured. We're aiming or for pressured. Yielding right now. Because we wanted uh, what was it? Um, faith. Faith. Uh, we have uh, zero in favor right now, so she will take another one that we have bonuses in until then. Yeah, we can take more intrigue right now. So Um Ciphering and uh, internal affairs. Internal affairs and ciphering. Done. Done. Week 26, morning. <laughs> Full of text. <laughs> <clears throat> Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother for title of duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. Um, his reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life-mate of the old Duke of Ursel. Then broke that off only a year later. He retired into seclusion and died still onward. Sad life. <laughs> yeah. So, week 26, afternoon. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try. But sometimes useful to hide information. Ah. I still don't understand that. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. Uh... If the letters is in reverse order, this doesn't make sense still. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Because if the reverse order, then this would be uh, D H T. S I A E N I N P L. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's continue the game. <laughs> what uh, a beautiful day! <laughs> it's nice to stop and breathe sometimes. Briefing is nice. What? Well, that was that. What the hell? <laughs> what a beautiful day! More and more. <laughs> uh, event, uh, less and less eventful. So. <laughs> um, let's just get to court again. We didn't go to court last time, did we? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, right. You get more yielding. <laughs> Sitting in a court season is not fun at all. You will rather be outside. That's why. Uh, outside and enjoyed a wonderful day that you didn't have a lot of time to do. What? 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 I don't know. Yeah. You father like it and it may be important for the future. Please, on with it. Forget what I'm saying. <laughs> and now we are angry. I think. <laughs> yeah, we are angry. Hop, hop, hop. Whoa, holy crap, our skills got down low fast. Dang. Well, so, uh, that kind of ruins our plus in intrigue. <laughs> um, but now we have plus in military and weapons. We we still have some in intrigue. I know. I but, um, I actually think if we take him from the uh, and chipping, we will get him to twenty five in those two. I think so too. But, so, um, but yeah, it, 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 you you decide. Um. Though remember the thing: it's good not to take. Random stuff, but actually go up in some minor things. 
Yeah. If we caused last time, we screwed everything up, I think. Um, where to have plus in Royal Demeanor too, so the question if is, uh, is if I should get more composure. We can do that also. And presence. Composure and presence. Just because we have the plus. Yeah, but we can do that. Like this? Yes. You sure? Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Do 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 do. Yes. Can I call a friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Return to seven morning. You are strapped into tight, heavy armor and made to walk around in it, learning that any attempt at sudden movement will catch painful, will catch painfully or trip you up. Slow and steady is the way to go. Your teacher smears your body and clothes with strawberry jam mm, strawberries, and makes you walk around like that for hours, facing the funny looks and snickers. Mm, snickers. <laughs> Dang it. At, aimed at you uh, without hiding or becoming angry. Why is it that I just imagined something really, really wrong right here? So body and clothes. Strawberry jam. You have a new commission there. <laughs> that, that must be so horribly sticky. <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> you still have a commission there, I think. To reach twenty seven afternoon. You practice watching people and willing them to feel your gaze on them. Inevitably, they will be drawn to you. Like something that uh, draws to uh, strawberry jam. Apparently, yes. <laughs> Milady, there's the letter for you. Yep, that's the only role in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's only that one letter. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, another letter from Bryony. Why does he, uh, why does she keep writing me? I don't I don't want her to write to me. Um when were we even friends? <laughs> uh we were never even friends. Well this was the same thing that you said just in another way. Yeah. Anyways. She, she says she is bored and lonely, and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwenel's birthday party. That's right! Gwenel is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury. For real now. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwenel and I were friends at school. And this will be a big event, but it's not also. Uh, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. So, do you want to go to the party or regret again? Uh, I will go to the party because now I have magical powers of magic. So. <laughs> magical power of magic. <laughs> well, it's better than magical power of steel. Shush. <laughs> It'll be good to see my friends. Yay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not so much. So, <laughs> attend court again? Um, yeah. Sending the court season is not fun at all, but you think about the birthday party that's coming up next week, and that makes you happy and looking for a brighter future, where that might be nice to you. Yosh. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like uh, I, I, don't, I forget what I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> so we are pressured, pressured right now, and uh, um, which is actually one. good because that gives us um, plus one in faith. Indeed. Where I can guess plus in royal demeanor too. <laughs> yeah, but our royal demeanor is kind of high right now, so maybe we should yeah. go for. Yeah. Let's, let's take uh, um, divination and meditation. No law. Deviation and law. Deviation and law. Yes. Week 28, morning. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. And week 28, afternoon. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an att attuned crystal. 
The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from uh, passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. We didn't know that at all. No. <laughs> so useful, off to the you, you hashtag useful information. Off to our. Uh, oh, this is gonna be good. On our journey to Sudbury, our camp is attacked by bandits. Yeah, but we're gonna die. <gasps> no! Look down and shock at the arrow which has burned itself in your sight. Outside, you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is contained around your pain. No! <laughs> you struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull, uh, to pull it loose. You heard a story somewhere about pushing arrows through your body. So you brace yourself and give it a shot. Uh. Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs. Turning a painful wound into a fatal one. Yo! This girl is so stupid! Oh, oh I have this arrow in my side. Let's push this further in. <laughs> it's chucked it all over again. <laughs> it's chucked it all over again. <sighs> um. Uh. <laughs> well, screw this. <laughs> so. <laughs> I should have stayed home. Uh, God dang it. Well, Elena did not survive to reach the Carnation Nova. Uh, her, to reach her Carnation. Nova would have uh, to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elena's day may rise again. <laughs> no! <sighs> oh well. <sighs> Well, pff. we did even more, more poorly than last time. <laughs> we did poorly than last time, yes. Uh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a short episode then. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> um. So uh, we have to end the season three of this. The next yeah. time. No, you uh, start season three. Yeah, exactly. You say end. We have to enter. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> so I uh, look forward to season three of this. <laughs> um, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, some, though... some some someday we will um, complete this game. Yeah, someday. <laughs> someday. So. <laughs> but uh, uh, the next time we will take a totally different approach. No, we won't. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you will. I will be bitch queen the next time. So wasn't we uh, that the first time also? No, 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 no. I was mixed then, but now I will I will only take the the evil choices. So. Okay. Only and only. So look forward to that. Well, we will do that then. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos, and you can go check out Strawberry Reporter's channel by hitting the annotation at the end of the video. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. Mm -hmm.